Near 23rd in Burleigh, that's right across from the COA Youth and Family Center. Kendall Keyes is live at Milwaukee Police Headquarters tonight. Kendall, do we know if the shooting is related to the Youth Center? Well, Patrick, I went inside to ask and they told me they weren't sure and would not be commenting tonight. But police say the boy and the teen were riding electric scooters when someone opened fire. Investigators honing in on two spin scooters in an alley near 23rd and Burleigh Wednesday afternoon. That's where police say someone shot an 11 year old and an 18 year old while the pair were out for a ride. Just having that happen here so close to home, you know, it's just it's, it's too much. You know, it's too much. Patrick Parrish returned home from work and found a crime scene in front of his house. I know I saw articles of clothing in the street and shoes and a, a, a pair of pants. So, um, yeah, you know, just. Just coming home to so this is just, you know, this ain't the way I want to come home. Police collected pants and a pair of sneakers left in the middle of 23rd Street. I couldn't get to my property where I live on 23rd Street and all of a sudden it's like, you know, no way I could get in. Arlene Patterson also returned home to the site of yellow tape and squad cars surrounding her block. I don't want to see this violence. It's not even summer and we already have shootings. Patterson tells 12 News that she's worried about her grandkids safety in the area she calls home. The summer is going to be awfully dangerous. It's going to be so dangerous. My grandkids are never going to go to the park. They're not going to go outside and play. We just have to get in the car and drive someplace else. Kendall, tonight, is there any update on the condition of the shooting victims? Well, police say medics took both of them to a hospital, but they are expected to survive. Investigators, though, have not arrested anyone. They ask anyone with information to call police.